Hi, it's Alicia Little, and in this episode of The Digital Jampreneur, we're going to go over all of the benefits and features of Google Drive. Google Drive has so many features that I'm going to call on my friend, IT instructor and Internet Income Jamaica coach, Miss Avalala, to walk us through what we can do with Google Drive. All right, let's bring Ava in. Ava. Hi. <laughs> Hi. I'm so excited to have you here today. I just told everybody that you're an IT instructor and a coach at Internet Income Jamaica. And so everybody's now excited to learn how to use Google Drive. Now, you are the Google Drive expert. <laughs> You've taught so many of our students at Internet Income Jamaica how to use Google Drive. Tell me, why do you love Google Drive so much? Well, I love it because it is flexible. It allows anyone who has a computer and an internet to be able to create documents, store them, and also share them with others. So it's, it, it's an all-in-one tool that it's free. You have a paid version, but it's free, and you can do so many things with the free version itself. I now, love it. Now, I don't even have Microsoft Office anymore. I haven't had Office for years because I'm using the, you know, Google Docs, Google Slides as my PowerPoint, Google Sheets instead of Excel. Do you find that people like me, <laughs> or there's a lot of people out there who don't even need to purchase Office anymore because, as you said, the products under Google Drive are free to use? Thank you for bringing up that point because Microsoft Office is one of the popular application tools and with Google Drive, you don't need to have it. It allows you to save any file that you have created as one of those file formats so anyone can share their files with persons who actually have those applications. So if Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft PowerPoint, all of those are substituted in Google Drive. So you have Google Slides, which is just like Microsoft PowerPoint, Google Docs, which is just like Microsoft um, Word, and okay. Google Sheets is just like Microsoft um, Excel. So okay. as we said, all in one, it allows you to do so much and it's a substitute for the Office applica application. <laughs> Okay, teacher, well, we're ready to dig in and learn something. You're going to teach us a little bit about Google Drive. Share your screen so that we can see, yes? All right, yes, I will. All right. <laughs> okay, guys, we're ready to have some fun and see how much you can do with Google Drive for free. We love, love it. Free. <laughs> Yay. And I'm going to share my screen now. Thank you. All right, so going over there. All right, so this is Google Drive. All you need to do is have a Gmail email account. So once you have, and most persons have a Gmail email, and then you can access Google Drive. And so Ava, three, yes. in a previous episode of the Digital Jampreneur, we did teach everyone how yes. to set up a Gmail email. So if you missed Great. that episode, go to internetincomejamaica.com, click on the Digital Jampreneur, and watch the episode about setting up your email account. Okay, Ava, back to you. All right, back to me. All right, so here we have the Google Drive dashboard. So remember, we talked about Google Slides and Google Docs and Google Sheets. So all you would simply do is just go to New, and you have Google Docs right here if you want to create a Microsoft Word version document. It looks just like Microsoft Word. I'm just opening, opening it so you see what it looks like. It looks just like Word. You have all your formatting features and all of those things loading right there. So while that loads, I'll just show you that you have Google Sheets and you have Google Slides. So we go to Google Slides, which is just like Microsoft PowerPoint. So as we said, if you don't have um, any of the Microsoft Office tools, here it is right here. For those who have ever seen Microsoft Word, it looks just like it, right? Right, Alisa? You've seen Microsoft Word. It looks just like yes. it. Yes, and just like have, it. Yeah, and then we have Google Sheets loading right here, which looks just like Microsoft Excel. You have your spreadsheet that you can do, different calculations and things in it, budget, anything like that, invoices. And then you have Google Slides, which is just like, Microsoft PowerPoint that you can use for different presentations like meetings and so on. And as we said, the best part is that you can save whatever document that you have created as a Microsoft Word format. So once I'm finished typing up this document, I simply go to file and I download and I can choose to download it as a Microsoft Word document. I don't have to have Microsoft Word, but I will have the file format that I can share with anyone. So this tool is an all-in-one 
free tool. You can do so much. It's something I use every day. I encourage others to use it because any files that you do create here, you can access them anywhere. So if I'm on my computer or suppose I go to somewhere else and I'm on another person's computer, all I need is my Gmail email address and my password and I'm in. <laughs> so Google Drive is amazing. I love it, love it, love it. Nice. And now you can also share the file with me and I can edit yes. and we can work on the file at the same time. Is that right? Okay. So true, can, you true. Show, can you show um, how to share the file? So how yes, would you I'm share this? Something. I'm going to type something quickly here in okay. this document if it will allow me to type and it. Our email address is thedigitaljampreneur at gmail.com. So share it with thedigitaljampreneur at gmail.com. Let's see how you do that. All right. So tell me the email address again. So tell us what you're doing right now because we're watching. Right, so right now, I just typed our, our sentence. Google Drive is amazing. And then I went here and I actually saved my file. So you can save your file as a name that you want. But guess what? For those persons who tend not to save their files, Google Drive actually does an auto save. So if I didn't save it, it would save it as a, just a generic name and then I can rename it. So it Love saves that. your files automatically as well. Love that. So if I wanted to share this document with Alicia, and of course with Digital um, Jumpreneur, I would go to the share section here. So it says share. And I will just type in that email address if I wanted to share it specifically with um, Alicia. Tell me it again. The Digital Jampreneur. J. P R E N E U R. All right. At at Gmail. Gmail. All right. So it would be shared with her. All right. So she would get an email. That would let her know that, you know, I have shared a document with her and she would have a link that she would click and it would take her straight to this document as well. Now, you can also, yes, Alisa. I was just going to say, you've often taught that Google Drive can also be used as file storage. Could you tell us a little bit about that? I'm guessing that's where you were going. Yeah. <laughs> no, I just created this file called Google Drive. So okay. when I go back to my drive, because this is my main drive here, I will see it right here, created Google Drive. I can open it and it's right here. Any document that I have on my computer, I can save it there as well. So I just go to my drive and I can upload a single file or I can upload a folder itself. So let me see if I have any single files here. I can quickly upload. Is this helpful for people who their computer has no more space on it and they need to get files off of their computer and yes. into the so-called cloud? Is this helpful for them? And then they can yes. delete it off of the computer? Yes, because this is one form of cloud storage. You can use it to back up your files. Anybody with an Android device can back up any photos and anything automatically by just selecting that option and it will do an automatic backup. For those who have an Androids, you have a seat, say, um, you want to back up your files? Google Drive is where the file is going. Nice. So here I saved this PDF quite simple. So if I didn't want to have this PDF file on my computer, I could simply go back and delete it and keep it on my Google Drive. I can create folders for storage as well, for organization purposes. So when I go to new, I have a fo um, I can create a new folder. So suppose I had um, files concerning information technology. Well, that's my subject, right? Right. <laughs> I would just go to create and then a folder is right here ready for me to store any files I want inside of the folder. Love so that. I just, I mean, Google Drive allows you to do so many things and we love the fact that it is free. <laughs> <laughs> it is what? How much does it cost? Free. Say that again. <laughs> it's free. I love free stuff and free stuff that allows you to do a whole lot of things, you know? Right. A lot of variety. Because I mean, who doesn't like free? We're not saying that the paid option doesn't allow you a lot of other things as well, but you are very well equipped with the free version. Right. I just want to show them that they have a different view that they can use. So right okay. now we are in the view that shows you what the files look like. So here okay. is a, a PDF file. I have a doc file and I have my folder. And here I can change the view and have a list view where I see everything listed here for me. So you can choose what suits you best, the kind of layout that you want. So basically customized to your comfort. I love that. I love that. 
And Ava, how is it that somebody would really learn Google Drive and all of the features? Is it simply by playing around with it and clicking around? You're not going to break anything, right? No. <laughs> yeah, play around with it. I, I always tell a person, you can't break the computer. You'd be really, really skilled to be able to break the computer. <laughs> Just fool around, click on the button and say, okay, what does this do? Click and see, try it out, close different files, go into the different areas. Once you see the cursor look like a little hand, that means you can click on it and find out more about that option. So just explore. Here you see it says search. We all know what search means. You see this button here. We call this a settings button. And the thing I like about computers, Alisa, is that the buttons are the same in any application. So the power button looks the same. Right. The setting button looks the same. So if you know the settings on your phone, you know that this icon represents a setting icon. So always remember to transfer the learning that you're doing with your other devices to new devices. It's not as new as you think. There are certain things that are familiar. So the learning curve is very simple. Very, very simple. Google Drive is, you learn that in a few minutes. <laughs> Got it. Thank you so much for being here with us today, Ava. Ava Lala, IT instructor and coach at Internet Income Jamaica. We love you so much. Thank you for um, being here. And hey, I'm encouraging you to check out Google Drive and all that it has to offer in today's time where remote working is turning to be the norm and where we need to really understand the tools that we can use to become better in our careers, in our jobs, and in our businesses. Google Drive is a tool that you cannot do without. Would you agree, Ava? Definitely. Even before all that was happening, it was a great tool. And it is even more so now that we have all this remote, remote working and remote learning and so on. Great, great, great in all aspects. I agree. Yes, today. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ava. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I hope you found this episode helpful. And to watch other episodes of The Digital Jampreneur, please go to our website at internetincomejamaica.com. Click on The Digital Jampreneur and you'll find a replay of this episode as well as past episodes on that page. Also, connect with me across social media. I look forward to connecting. Bye.